to my Monday show. How about we talk about the quickest and easiest way to get back on track, especially after the holidays. Josh and I were having this conversation and actually before I get into this conversation that we were having, I'm going to give you a little bit of time for everybody to jump on and remember that on the shows that I do every Monday, you are welcome to ask questions. That's what this is all about. Um, we can chat, we can catch up, you can ask whatever is on your mind and we can just, yeah, have a good time. So if you don't know anything about me, you're, this is the first time you're watching a video with me. My name is Steph Hendel. I live in Southern California and I live with my amazing fiance, Josh. I'm a nutrition and fitness weight loss coach, but I don't just teach about weight loss, I teach about the mindset of weight loss. So I teach you the reason why you're not following through. Because everybody knows that they, they can go Google a workout, they can go uh, buy a cookbook or a diet book to tell them what to eat, but here's the real thing. Most people are not actually doing it. Most people are not actually sticking to a diet or sticking to a workout routine or actually even doing one workout. There's a reason and it's your mindset. So that's what we talk about on the show. More mindset than anything. I am certified as a personal trainer. I'm certified as a health coach and those things are great. But there was a point I hit where I said, it's more than this. There's way more. So I invented Body Built by Love which is a course that I hold um, every once in a while. There'll be a new Body Built by Love course coming out probably sometime around March. Um, but I do this course because I'm teaching you how to dive into your mind and take out the parts of you that are resistant to working out and resistant to eating healthy. And then you can lose weight and maintain a healthy weight for the rest of your life. That's fun. That's easy. It's not supposed to be hard. I'm telling you that right now. This is not supposed to be a challenging thing. Um, it's not hard to maintain a healthy body. It's just hard for people who have the wrong mindset. And I'm speaking that because that used to be me. I used to have um, completely the wrong mindset. I thought it was really, really hard to lose weight. I struggled to get the weight off. I was yo-yo dieting. I was like all over the place, all over the board. It wasn't fun. <laughs> so um, then coming from that space of somebody who's been there, done that, and has seen a better way and wants to share that better way with you. So, how about how to get back on track after the holidays? I know a lot of people indulged and maybe overindulged. I hope that you didn't overindulge, but if you did, I have some tips for you today. And I'm gonna get into some pretty interesting stuff along with this concept of getting back on track because one thought process, one idea, always is, it applies to multiple parts of your life. So it's probably not just gonna apply to your eating style, it's probably also gonna apply to your relationships and it's gonna apply to how you do business and how you work and all these different things. So you've gotta kind of tie it all together. So getting back on track, here, Josh and I were having this conversation today and he was saying he bought this very uh, amazing sweater to wear to a Christmas party. <laughs> it had a couple T-Rex dinosaurs on it, which was amazing. Um, and he was saying, I'm, I need to go return this, <laughs> this sweater. And he said, I know how to do it. I know the process. I'm just gonna you know, go to the mall, the store that I bought it. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna return it. Boom, done, easy, simple. So this is the concept that most of us don't have when it comes to our bodies or our health or our relationships for that matter, is we don't see the plan to get from point A to point B. So when you're doing something like going grocery shopping, you go to the store with your list. Sometimes you might not go with the list, but when you go with the list, you know, and if it's your supermarket that you go to all the time, you know exactly where to get your greens, you know exactly where to get the lemons, you know exactly where to get your grass-fed ground beef, and you just go there, grab it, get it done, go to the cashier, check out, go home, check it off your list. And it's easy to check off the list because there's a process and you know how to do it. But when it comes to your body, you probably don't have that checklist. And if you don't, you might have a checklist regularly, and then when the holidays come along, you have no checklist. 
you kind of go through this cycle and the thing that I don't want to happen for you if you did overindulge a little during the holidays, which FYI is okay, but if you did overindulge during the holidays, then you need a process, a system to make sure that you are getting back on track. Um, there's, I, I want to definitely hit on this topic too. Um, so, hey, Jean, 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 you know, <laughs> says happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too. Um, who else is here? I'd love to say hey to anybody who's watching. Um, so we don't have this A to Z list of you do this and then you do this and then you do this and then you get this result. And when we don't have that, that's when we talk about to-do lists. Uh, if you have a to-do list, I'm sure you have those things on your list that just never happen to get done. And no matter how much you're like, I really want to do that. I'm really going to get that accomplished this week. It just doesn't happen. Well, what's the reason that the other things happen and that doesn't? It's because you know how to do the other things. You know how to get, you know that to in order to get Z, you do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, <laughs> and then boom, you're there, you get it done, you check it off the list, done. But you probably don't know the process or the procedure to do that. And in order to apply that to your health, there's something that you might want to start thinking about, and that's your mindset. Your mindset has to be in alignment, and for this to, for you to go from A to Z, you have to get your mind on board. And that's the pieces that might be missing in between for you, where you're at A and you try to get to B and you don't get to B and then you try to get to B and then you do a workout so you got to B, but then you go back to A and it's this, this messy process. What's going on there is there's pieces missing. There's certain elements there that you don't have yet. And that's what I created this Body Built by Love course to do. It walks you through different written exercises and I give you these aha moments where you start to see health and fitness in a different way and you start to realize that oh my gosh I have been totally not seeing all of this all along it's that missing piece so you got to have the pieces to complete it along the way um, and you got to you got to know the process so this happens with relationships as well I'm talking about relationships because I have a course called fit to find love that's going to be starting in a couple of weeks and I have a very special um, price actually going on for it until midnight tonight so if you're interested in that make sure you get on in on it tonight if you want the discounted price um, but I'm talking about love because love and body the and health it all coincides it all works together um, but when you're trying to find that person for yourself, that soulmate, that best friend, you need to see clearly the path. And if it's been hard to do that, if it's been hard to find that person, then you probably haven't seen a clear path for it. You probably never carved the way out and said, okay, well, first I would need to do this, and first I would need to know that, and I would need to know this about myself and know this about them, and you know, in order to find that person. It's when things come to us and things happen for us, it's because we have a very clear vision and a clear picture of how it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to be done. So we do this, 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 and then we get the result. It's not some kind of big mystery that most of us think it is like, oh, well, you know, maybe it's just for some people and not for me, or maybe there's something wrong with me and all this stuff. You can let go of all that, those negative thoughts and those can just never enter your mind ever again because they don't have to. That has nothing to do with it, honestly. It has nothing to do with it. You are just causing yourself extra stress and distress <laughs> when it comes to that. You don't have to feel that. Um, what you do need to think about is, do I know the steps to get me there? Do I know the process? Do I understand myself well enough to get there? Because it's a mindset. It, there's a reason why you're really good at one thing and then something else doesn't come so easy to you. You've been conditioned and programmed to be really good at that thing. You've practiced over and over and over. You always hear me talking about compounding and the compound effect and how when you do something over and over and over and over and over, you end up getting a result and it ends up being a big result even if it's just little things every day. It ends up being a really big thing in the end. Same thing applies with this. You just do you saw something, the thing that you are really naturally just great at, you see it, right? Don't you see the path to get there? It's very easy for you to do that because you're like, okay, well, I would just do this, 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 and this, and then that happens for me. 
So something that comes easy to me is relationships and love. And it didn't always come easy to me, but I can clearly see the path with Josh, you know? I always say that um, when you wanna reach a goal, it has to be something in your mind that you already know is true. And it's so clear and so just like, duh, kind of thing. Like if somebody said it to you, you'd be like, yeah, duh. Not like, ooh, I hope that happens. Because when I think about our relationship together, I go to bed at night knowing that the next day we will be even more in love than we were the day before. And then of course, that keeps happening every single day because I know it, I expect it, I practice the steps to get there every day, and then boom, result. Same thing with your body. If you have a certain mindset about your body that's really, really hard to lose weight, yeah, you're going to prove that true. You always prove what your identity is, how you feel, something the world looks to you. You're always gonna do whatever you can to prove it true. So if you're thinking it's really hard to lose weight, I look at a piece of cake and I get fat, you know, it's easy for everybody else but not for me, you will always do whatever you can to prove it true. You wonder why you self-sabotage and eat? Well, you're living up to your own identity of it's hard to lose weight. So you may start to lose a little bit of weight and then be like, no, no, wait, shh, this is supposed to be hard. So you just go and binge out a bunch and then you're like, oh yeah, 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 this is right. Yeah, it is hard. It's super hard to lose weight. And you're proving it true to yourself. Same thing with love. It's so hard to find a good relationship. It's hard to find a good man. It's hard to find, you know, whatever silly thoughts that you might say about love and relationships and how they don't come easy and they're not, they don't come every day. It's like you have to just focus in on what you want to happen. And you need your mind to be on board with that. It is essential. Absolutely essential. I... Like, I've got no time to talk to somebody about weight loss or getting in better shape or finding love if I'm trying to just talk to them simply about you should work out more and you should eat better. To me, that's not gonna do you any good. It might do you some temporary good, or actually it might cause you even more stress because then you're thinking, oh, I know, everybody has always told me I need to just work out more and I just need to eat better. I know, I get it, it's so stressful. And then you go and you go to the restaurant and you're like, oh, it's like my favorite to order this really not good for me thing. And everybody tells me I need to like eat better to lose weight. So now I'm in this internal conflict and my self-sabotage is kicking in and it's telling me who am I to lose weight and who am I to be in great shape? And you're just like, oh yeah, I'll get the unhealthy thing. And you live up to your identity. It's just like, it's, it can be really stressful to hear, like, doesn't that, doesn't that stress you out if you're overweight right now? Doesn't it stress you out to think, I need to eat better and I need to work out more? Yeah, that's not a fun thought. That's not enjoyable. That's not something that you're like, oh, yay, I'm so pumped to do that. What you need to have in your life is you need to feel like I'm so pumped to do that about workouts and about food. And that doesn't come from doing more workouts and eating better food. It comes from changing your mindset, changing how you think, how you look at things, your beliefs, your paradigm of how you view the world has to change. I created the nine minute workout program, which just finished yesterday. So if you're interested in that, um, you can buy it now as a package and you can get all the workouts at once. Um, just FYI, that's on my website, if that's something that interests you, but I created it because it's nine minutes long, it's quick, it's simple, and it's something that you can do and shift your mind around because it's not just workouts, right? You guys know me better than that. I wouldn't have just created a workout program. It's not just nine minutes of workouts. It's nine minutes of workouts that are fueled by mind-shifting, mind-changing beliefs. So while you're working out, I am also changing your mind. You're enjoying the workout. You're thinking, this is the most fun I've ever had working out. You're thinking, I can't wait to work out tomorrow. This is awesome. So it's not some magical thing that some people are just like, gifted at working out a lot, they have a different mindset. If you don't like to work out and you see somebody who's super fit and loves working out, they're not any different than you, except that they think differently. They're, they have the same makeup. Like if you wanted to be somebody who loved working out, you could. There's nothing that's stopping you from that, except for you and your mind. So 
think, start to focus more on how you can think differently and then you will see different results. So if you just keep smacking your head up against the wall, I'm trying to lose weight, I'm not. I'm trying to lose weight, I'm not. I started another workout routine, I'm not doing it. I started another diet and I'm not doing it. This never works for me. If that sounds like you, stop doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result. You have to change something and you gotta look at something else. It's your mind. Stop looking at workouts, stop looking at food, start looking at this, your brain. How do you view workouts? It's the key. It's the key. And I have courses that teach you exactly how to move into your mind, shift your mindset to a place where it's fun. Because I'm not interested in giving you a mindset shift where you're just gonna be like, okay, I'm working out more now and I'm eating better and my body looks better. It's like, that's cool, that's nice, but that's not what I care about. I care about you having more fun, enjoying yourself more while you get healthy. So everything you do with me, any course you ever take with me, expect that you're gonna end up having more fun, loving it more, and experiencing a better life because it's an enjoyable process. So that's what you have the power to do in your mind. You have the power to just shift to this and just be like, I love this. This is, I love working out. I wake up every morning excited, right? That's, that feels so different than just being like, gotta work out again today. Okay, like totally different. I, I know what that feels like. I used to think like that. And I used to stress out if I missed a day of working out. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get fat. You know, I was so afraid of getting fat again. And that sucks. It's not a good way to live and it's not fun. Now I live from a place where I just like, I wake up in the morning like, sweet, yes, I cannot wait to go do a workout. It's my favorite part of the day. And if I miss a workout, I'm like, that's okay, whatever. I'm consistent. I love doing it. I'm going to do it tomorrow. It's fine. You know, it's like, you gotta come. That's the healthy place. So you can be fit, but not healthy. I want you to have both. I want you to be fit, look amazing, but also be healthy because you're enjoying yourself. It's not a chore. Health and fitness should not be a chore. Health and fitness should just be a, a bonus to your life, something really exciting, just like a loving relationship. So I'm gonna read another comment. Uh, Jason, what's up, Jason? Glad you're here. He said, love your mindset, info, and awareness stuff. Thank you. And then I'm gonna see more here. Have a great day, sis. Hello from Ireland. Wow. Hey, we are in SoCal right now and it's a little bit chilly, but my parents would totally, they would totally laugh if they heard me say that because it's not chilly compared to Pennsylvania. I'm so like, I've turned into such a Cali girl. Uh, it's crazy. I'm like, this is silly. If I was back in Pennsylvania, that would be really cold, but yeah. Let's talk a little bit more. What kind of questions do you guys have about getting back on track for the holidays? Let me tie this in a little bit more. So the mindset is everything. So if today is kind of like a hangover from yesterday, even if you didn't drink like a food hangover where you ate kind of bad the last couple of days and then today you're kind of eating pretty bad and then tomorrow you might eat bad also, then that is just saying, that you're not shifting your mindset. You're still in a mindset where you're trying to um, give something to yourself that you're not satisfying your needs with. So what you gotta do is go take what I said earlier, which is know what you want and know what steps you need to take to get from point A to point B. Angela's here, what's up Angela? Hey, how you doing? Yeah. So. You gotta, gotta, gotta know the steps. This is the most important thing of all. If you wanna get back on track, you gotta know the steps to get back on track. So let me give you some of those steps. Number one, do not beat yourself up. Be easy with yourself, be kind, be gentle, and don't feel like, some people do this. When they get back from the holidays, they think it's black and it's white. So this area that they've spent their time in the last couple of days is like 100% super unhealthy. They're drinking a lot, they're eating a lot of stuff they don't normally eat or unhealthy foods, and they're just doing all things that are unhealthy, skipping their workout, whatever. And then the next day they envision, they're looking through their goggles and they're like, oh, okay, so tomorrow what that needs to look like is salads all day, smoothies, green juices, it's gotta be 100% healthy. 
that's not the best way to get back on track. Sorry to burst your bubble. The best way to do it is to ease into it. Like that extremeness is never the best way to do something and stick to it. So I was talking about this analogy of the mountain. So you're trying to climb this humongous mountain so high up and you're at the base and you know you gotta get up there and you're just thinking about it, you're like, oh, I don't know how I'll ever get up to the top of this mountain. And that's you looking at this like, tomorrow I need to just drink all green juice and only have salads and blah, blah, blah. That's looking at the top of the mountain and saying, I gotta get there right now. The thing that you need to do, if you want this to be easy and fun and enjoyable and something you stick to, is just look at your feet and say, can I move my right foot one step up? And then you say, yeah, I can do that. And then you say, okay, can I move my left foot one step up? And you say, yeah, I can do that. So you're just looking at your feet and you're moving right, left, right, left. And before you know it, you look up, you're at the top of the mountain, boom. And it was easy to get there, but it didn't seem easy when you had to get all the way to the top right away if you're gonna just dash up there and run as fast as you could. This is the same analogy of getting back on track after the holidays. So you're gonna take one baby step, one foot in front of the other. What is your next meal? How can you make that next meal a little bit healthier? It doesn't have to be like a disgusting salad with like no flavor and no fun to it. It doesn't have to be just a green juice, just juicing all day. Just slowly ease into it. How can you make your next meal a little bit healthier? Just a little bit. And then the next meal after that, make it a little bit healthier. If you're still in dessert mode, don't say, I'm not, that's it, no desserts for me. Because you know you're gonna end up later just binging out, and like going crazy on some chocolate. Don't say no dessert, just say, how can I make that dessert a little bit better for me? So maybe it means eating a little bit less of it. Maybe it means making your own dessert, which is fine too. Like the banana ice cream I made the other day on my Instagram, that's a great thing. You're still having dessert, it's still sweet, it's still creamy, it's still feeling like you're eating ice cream, but it's healthier. So that's making it a little bit better. You just wanna ease your way back into things. Don't try and just like, woof, rush all of it back all at once because that's stressful, it's challenging on the mind. You know that my main concern in life is working with the brain, working with your mindset, your beliefs, your thoughts, all that stuff. So you've got to work with your mind on this one and not work against it. So let's see, Jason says, how do you approach adding in new healthy habits and do you link them to existing habits? That's a good question. So adding in new healthy habits, same thing, baby steps, small steps, not looking at the whole top of the mountain um, do you have any examples of what a new healthy habit would be? Because I can give you a specific example with that. Um, but yeah, just don't look at the full huge thing like I gotta be here right now. That's why, that's one of the main reasons we stop ourselves from achieving things is we look at the big picture and we think, gosh, how am I ever gonna get there? What are my steps from A to Z to get there? I don't know. And then we just don't do it. And we're just like, eh. So we're slowly going to ease our way in. Like, what's the first step? I always talk about my triathlon that I did, which was the first thing I did to really get myself healthier. As I started um, by training for a triathlon, I gave myself a full year. And when I was doing it, I had no idea how to do it. I didn't have like a triathlon coach or anything like that. I was just like, well, you run, bike, and swim, right? So I'm gonna start running more and biking more and swimming more. <laughs> and so I started doing that. And instead of being like, oh crap, I need to learn how to swim like 60 laps nonstop right now to prep for this triathlon, I was like, I'm gonna get in the pool and I'm gonna see what I can do. <laughs> and when I did that, I couldn't get one lap without stopping to catch my breath. So <laughs> I was like, okay, this is where I'm at. So tomorrow my goal is to swim one lap without having to catch my breath. <laughs> so I went and I did that. And then I, I achieved that and I was like, awesome. I feel really good. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna rest. And then in a couple days, I'm gonna go back to the pool and I'm gonna swim two laps without having to stop. And then I just kept building from there, you know? So it's the slow steps that are easy on the mind. It's all about being easy on the mind. If you force your mind into it, those healthy habits are gonna backfire at you and it's not gonna be sustainable. Like 
something I care about big time for you is that you have something that you can maintain and be consistent with for a lifetime. Like that's why I create the courses I create and that's why the courses are especially my private coaching and my live with live here month immersion when you live in my home. That's why they're so such a premium price is because I'm giving you something that will literally you can keep for an entire lifetime. Like, and it's gonna continue to compound throughout your life. So what I teach you today is gonna benefit you not only tomorrow, but every day from here on out until you're like 100 years old. So yeah, I'm charging a super premium price for that because that is unbelievably valuable. And it just, yeah, it's beyond, it's beyond a normal thing. I could give you a workout, I could give you a recipe or a way to eat, which I give you those things, but that I say those are 10%. The other 90% is your mindset. If you can shift your mind, you got something for life. So there it is. Um, Jason, let's see. Oh, that's the comment you said before. Your other question was, and how do you link them to existing habits? So I'm not sure. Can you give me an example of that? Like what you were referring to and maybe I can answer it a little bit better. Um, that's, that's my main thing. Um, okay, the other thing too that I gotta let you know and if you have any questions about it, I'm totally open and I got some time to answer them right now. So I have a brand new course called Fit to Find Love and it is starting January 10th. So right now, the last two days I was doing a early bird special for anybody who signs up and it's good until tonight at midnight. You'll save $152 if you do it. So I'm saying go do it right now if you like saving money. Now that is a good, now's a good time to do this because the price is going to go up after tonight at midnight. And it's a course that's specifically designed to get you and your body and your heart prepared for love and then attract the love that you want into your life. And no, it's not some crack the, the crazy code, open the treasure, go on some adventure to find this person. It's like, it doesn't have to be that hard. It's not like that. I spent a lot of my life thinking it was that challenging. And then when I shifted that and I said, I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to find the love of my life. I just want to find that person and I'm tired of the game, like show me how to do it. Then all of a sudden, bing, like I was given this mindset of how to actually do it. Josh comes into my life, my best friend, the love of my life, the, the guy that I get to travel the world with, share all these memories with, um, be in love with, watch movies with, just cuddle with, and just the person that I can come home to after a hard day and just laugh person who gets me, the person who sees my true heart and my authentic soul and just loves it uh, unconditionally and unconditionally accepts me and, and vice versa. It's just like, to f I found that after I gave up the belief that it has to be hard and that it's some kind of weird, crazy, like mystery to find love. And so I show you how to do that in this course. Um, I take you through all the processes and I also, this is also for somebody who is already in love, but wants to have a healthier relationship within that love. Um, so I know a lot of people are either both of those people want to get in better shape, want to get healthier, or one person's healthy, the other person's not. So this, this ties into it. So there is a process of taking care of your body in order to attract love into your life. Because isn't it true that how you do one thing is how you do everything? How you take care of your body. If you, want, if you want to draw in a relationship of somebody who loves you, respects you, cares for you, then you got to love, respect, and care for your body, right? You've got to show like, I'm ready to find this because look, I am being this. I am this. So um, I lead you through this process of getting into better shape, finding love, and it's all a really fun way to do it. It's a lot of uh, shifting your mindset, shifting your perception, and it ends up having the most amazing results from that. So Jason, let's see, um, example is doing like five push-ups. Sorry, I'm getting like really close because I'm trying to read this, okay. 
Example is doing five push-ups after eating a meal or visualize your goals as being done at night before you sleep. Do you have set habits like this? Um, sometimes, yeah. Um, the doing five push-ups after eating, uh, I do have a, a habit that I do about walking after I eat and it doesn't happen every meal, but it happens a lot. Um, and let's see, visualizing your goals as being done at night. Yeah, visualizing your goals as being done is everything. But one piece that I was always missing there and I was trying to figure out well, why isn't it working is because I didn't fully truly in my heart believe it. And that's what the mindset shifts in my courses do. They really bring it all together and they get you to a point where you truly believing it enough that it happens. So anytime it doesn't happen, it's because there's a piece of you that still doesn't believe it or doesn't feel like you deserve it or it doesn't feel like you're worth it. Um, okay, and then do you have set? Yeah, okay, so I answered that one and your relationship sounds incredible. It is, thank you, Jason, yeah, it's fantastic and it's what every single person has a birthright to have and deserves to have. It's amazing and when I see people who are in challenging relationships and they aren't having fun, it's, um, I'm like, that doesn't have to happen. You can shift that. It's a very easy switch. And like today, Josh and I, we actually, we went out to, um, we went out to get burgers for lunch at our favorite place down the road. They have this epic organic grass fed beef burgers. And we were sitting there and, you know, I always had a thought in the past, in some past relationships where I was like, I hope that I don't get to that point where I'm out to eat with somebody and we're just like staring at each other and like, no one's talking. And I was sitting with him eating this burger, laughing so loud, like, and both of us were just cracking up to the point where we're like, we were like this, like doubled over, cracking up. And I was just sitting there like, this is bliss. This is bliss because this is the dream relationship. Isn't that what everybody wants is to just connect with someone and be able to have fun and laugh and make life really light instead of really heavy and really hard. It's like, that's what everybody gets to have. Everybody gets to have that. We're just cracking up all the time. We're just constantly cracking jokes and it, like, it's just fun. Why not? Um, and then we have a serious time too, but, um, Heather, Hey Steph, love all this. My biggest problem is taking all the head knowledge I've gained and putting it into action, walk the talk. So glad you said that, Heather. Yeah, I know. I know what that feels like. Uh, I've been in that space before too, where I'm just like, oh my gosh, I know all this stuff. I know all this, but I'm not practicing it. I'm just thinking about it and knowing it. And I, uh, I've spent a lot of time studying what different people um, believe and studying different modalities and you know, understanding all this different stuff. And I'm just going, Okay, I get it. I believe that that's true. I believe that that's going to happen, but I don't consistently practice it in my life. Or maybe I can't sort out. Do you ever feel like that? Is it like you can't sort out what is right and what's not right, or you don't know what to apply to your life? Yeah, it can get to a point where you're just feeling like there's a lot. And especially when you get into your own personal development, self development, you start to feel like, wow. You know, I'm opening up a lot of things and I'm starting to see all this stuff and at times it can feel overwhelming, but we, what we don't realize when it's overwhelming is that we're in the midst of a huge transformation, a huge change. So it's like your brain is just, just sifting and sorting through all these different things. It's like, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, this is new, this is new, this is new, and it's just taking it. But the part we don't see is that it's sifting and sorting through all of it and it's putting it all together to make one big cohesive piece. And there's gonna be some huge thing that comes out of this in your life. And it's going to be the most amazing thing that's ever happened out of a compilation of all this stuff. So I know personally, a lot of times when I feel like that, I'm like, oh my gosh, all this knowledge, all this information, what's going on. Then like a week later, all of a sudden I just have the most innovative idea I've ever had because it's just like all of it went into one and I'm like now I'm applying that to my life and all the rest of my knowledge and it becomes one cohesive piece and then it's this beautiful thing it's like a flower you know it's like starts out as a bud and it's thinking about it and it's getting ready to grow and then it's like and you're like wow that is beautiful so 
expect some beautiful flower. Expect your, your mind and your life to turn into a beautiful flower. And expect it soon. That's the other thing too is um, when we're not expecting it, it can take a while, but if you expect it to happen fast, it will happen fast. So anybody have any questions on the Fit to Find Love course? Just to, as a reminder, um, the course is $197 if you sign up today. Normally it's $349, so you're going to save $152 if you sign up before midnight tonight. I highly suggest that you do that because the price is going to go up. Um, the course is going to be insane. It's going to be amazing, which, by the way, $349 is a deal for this course, uh, let alone $197, which, yeah. So it's going to be a huge deal because you're going to learn some things that will just change your life forever, let alone bring the love of your life into your life. Um, if the love of your life is already in your life, you'll live healthier and happier more cohesively together and it's also going to teach you how to have a healthier body I mean there's really no there's nothing more valuable than having a healthy fit body and falling in love like those are two super the mo two of the most valuable things connection love right when it really boils down to it I've done enough retreats and I've worked with enough people on a private coaching level and group coaching level I've worked with hundreds of women all over the world and men too and the one thing everybody wants is love. It boils down to it. Everybody wants love and connection. That's what we're here for. And if you can throw health into there, even better. A healthy, amazing connection. Yes, that sounds great. Doesn't that sound amazing? It's good stuff. So if nobody has any other questions, then I'm probably going to hop off. But it's been a really fun show. Um, every Monday at 3 p.m. I'll be here doing a different topic and we'll be discussing different stuff. If you have questions about the course, you can um, shoot me a email, steph at stephhendel.com or comment below and I'll put the link for it below so that you can sign up uh, tonight before midnight. Give yourself that gift. You know, you, you can't hold back from investing in yourself because when you invest in yourself, you are able to invest in everybody around you because you're taking care of you. You know, the concept of filling your cup. When your cup is full, then you're good to give to everybody else. If your cup is empty, then you're trying to give to everybody and you're just feeling like a hot mess. So you want to be cool and calm and collected, happy, energized, excited, and giving to the world. Giving to the people you love, giving to your friends, giving at work, like whatever it may be. Um, so it's, it's essential. It's super, super important. Anyway, um, I hope you have an amazing Monday. I hope that you get back on track. Remember it's baby steps. Remember it's learning the A, B, C, D, E, F, G to get to Z. So just learn the steps in between. And the key one is just taking it slow, not stressing yourself out. All right, guys, you are amazing. Uh, don't forget that you deserve all the best in life. And don't forget that great things are on the way to you. Like they're like literally in the midst of being at your doorstep. And one of my favorite quotes in the world is by Rumi. He says, what you seek is seeking you. So whatever you're seeking is out there looking for you too. So be open and know that it's on its way. Okay, you're awesome. Have a great day. Mwah. See you next Monday at 3.